Hey there, Bixby developers. Today, I'll be showing you how to use the brand new component gallery to quickly create result view components for your capsule. In order to use the component gallery, you need to first be at a place where you can insert a result view component. And then you can use the autofill, which is control space, to bring it up. So let's go ahead and demonstrate this. First, I'm just going to create a new capsule from sample and I'll be using the SSML example sample. So SSML example S2. So now that I've imported this capsule, let's go ahead and take a look at its result view right here. And we're going to be using the component gallery to be building this out. But let's take a look at how it looks in the capsule first. Tap on one of the examples below to see some speech synthesis markup language in action. Look how fast I can talk now. She sells seashells by the seashore. It's a pretty simple capsule that demonstrates some SSML examples. And why don't we go ahead and actually delete this paragraph. And now you can see that it will be gone. Tap on one of the... Look how fast I can talk now. She sells... And you can see how now that paragraph is gone, but let's use the component gallery to insert it. So now that I'm here at the layout section content, just hit control space, and we can normally insert it like this by clicking on paragraph. We can also insert it with the component gallery. In the component gallery, you can see a lot of different examples of how different things can look. But we're going to want to use the paragraph for this. And we can use the detail M. Third example here, but of course you can use any example that you like. You can also take a look at the raw code as well. We can just click view, you can change the view as well, dark theme, original theme, light theme, and you can even change it for the device to take a look to see how it would look. And finally, you can even adjust the style of the text. Why don't we go ahead and adjust it to detail L and just click insert to put this right here. And now we just have to edit, for example, the values or URLs within the component that you just inserted. And just like that, we've really quickly and efficiently inserted the paragraph. So next, why don't we go ahead and insert an image as well? Here in Assets Images, I've included this lovely picture of potatoes. Just hit Control Space and then Insert from Component Gallery and select Image. And now you can change all these different settings and just click Insert when you're ready. And now we just need to update the URL, Images slash Potatoes. Let's take a look and see how that potato looks. And there we have a lovely image of our potatoes. But I guess we don't really want an image of potatoes here. It doesn't really make much sense. So why don't we go ahead and insert a clickable component. And for this one, we're going to use a cell card and we're going to use our lovely potato images as this little thumbnail. As you can see, we have multiple different options to select from. And for this one, I'm gonna want the square shape to show as much of the potatoes as possible. And then I'm going to just want primary only. I don't necessarily need two rows of text for this clickable cell card. And we're going to leave the on click with the sample intent goal and just click insert. So here we want to update the image to our potato. Now we want to edit the text. And finally, we can just change this to the get SSML examples action. And again, I forgot the S on the images slash potatoes. But now if we go ahead and run this, we can see just how easy it was to insert a cell card that's clickable. And there we go. We have our clickable cell card. Why don't we click on it? Now it takes us back to show us more SSML examples. Now I wanted to show you how to use this in a layout macro. So we're going to create a layout macro, right-clicking new, Layout, 
SSML example.layout.bxv. We're going to want to replace this with layout macro def, and it can just be SML sample. This one's going to take params. So here we can see that we have our content section content. But since it's a layout macro def, we're actually going to want to, to just have one layer of content here. And we can do insert from component gallery by using control space. And we're going to insert a cell card again. In this cell card, we can remove slot one. And we only need the primary again. Just click insert. And we can replace this with our SSML display text that we have. And for the on click, it will just be the view for the SSML. So as you can see, using the component gallery, just put out all this template code in no time at all. And it's a very visually friendly way to do it. Let's go here and replace this cell card with our newly made layout macro. And we're just passing in this individual SSML into the layout macro for the parameter SSML. So there you go, just like that, we use the component gallery to create all these different things in no time at all. And let's go ahead and take a look at the end result. We can see that these cards are working just fine. And we can see our cell card clickable button is here as well. And I figured I'd show you guys some more things in the component gallery. We have H boxes, which are great. And they provide some common use cases for them, which all look very good. We have image cards, which can be pretty complex, but they also have a lot of variation and you can see different ways to use the image card. We have the image carousel, which you can also scroll through as if you're using it as if it's already in the simulator, which is pretty cool. Image list, input cells, so on and so forth. There's, I, there's a lot of different components for you to experiment and to play with. So just remember to control space inside the right area, and then you can pull up the component gallery just like this. So there you go, a quick tutorial on how to use the component gallery for Bixby Studio. And yeah, that's it.